Allen, 2016, at 7 p.m. when the City Council Chambers will come to order. We welcome Reverend Brian Sharp and his wife Pam from the Grace Christian Fellowship Church, and Reverend Sharp will give our invocation. Will you please stand? Once again, Mayor, I'd like to thank you and the City Council for continuing to allow uh, prayer before your meetings. I think that makes a great statement and uh, it's a great benefit, as we all know, to our city. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much uh, tonight for your presence. Like Moses said, Father, without your presence, how will anybody know that we're different than anybody else? It's your presence that makes a difference. And so we thank you for your presence here, Father. We thank you for this city council, um, each member, and uh, we just pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will just guide their decisions and their actions. In the end, Father, we want your values to be reflected in all the choices and decisions that they have to make. And Father, we know there's a lot of big and important things that need to be decided over the course of time. And uh, I pray that you will just give them wisdom, sensitivity, uh, continued love for the community, which I know they have. And, uh, but most of all, Father, be sensitive to what you would have them to decide. We thank you, Father, for our community. We ask you continued blessing upon not only the, uh, the Poplar Bluff City Council, but also upon the city of Poplar Bluff and Butler County and Southeast Missouri. Thank you for planting us here. Help us to bloom where we're planted. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Sharp. <clears throat> Roll call, please, Ms. Kirby. Councilman DeGarris. Here. Councilman Crocker. Here. Councilman Tinsley. Here. Councilwoman Fox. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Here. And Mayor Abshear. Here. We do have a quorum. Thank you. Disclosure of interest. Any member of the City Council may disclose any possible conflict of interest dealing with either any item on the printed agenda or with any matter discussed at a previous meeting. Hearing none, move to citizens input. Each person in the audience may take this opportunity to address the city council on any matter which is not on the printed agenda. Seeing none, we will move to the workshop required items. Item A, the city council will discuss a request for a conditional use permit to operate a faith-based not-for-profit men's recovery center with housing for up to six clients in a C2 general commercial zone. The property is located at 132 North B Street and the applicant is Crosswords Ministry and Care Jimmy Wagner, 422 West Pine Street. Mr. Avery. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of the council. As you stated, uh, Crossroads Ministry Care of Jimmy Wagner is the applicant. Uh, the location is actually on B Street between Pine and Bartlett. And at one time, it was Bloodworth's Law Office. It was built as a house originally and hasn't really been converted from that. So changes they might have to make if this were approved are, are minimal. <clears throat> I have discussed that with Mr. Wagner you know, prior to this. Uh, they do wish to operate a faith-based, not-for-profit men's recovery center with client housing in a C2 general commercial zone. And by ordinance, that is a uh, conditional use uh, item. Uh, at this time, the building is vacant. The surrounding land use to the north, south, east, and west is all C2 general commercial. Utilities are available to the site. Access is from North B Street between Pine and Bartlett. Police and fire protection is available. Fire station number one will be the first responder. Uh, it is a C2 general commercial zone and most of the use is commercial. Uh, they can house up to six people based upon the space that they have, improved space they have within the building. And they have been providing services for over three years in various locations in and around the city. It is my belief that the proposed use should not have a negative impact on the surrounding properties. Uh, as it went through Planning and Zoning Commission, uh, 
it had general support. We did have one nearby property owner that objected, uh, but I hadn't, I didn't hear from him before any meetings and I haven't heard from him since that one meeting that he attended. Uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission, uh, I believe, was in favor of it. They did recommend uh, that it move to the council with a recommendation to approve. Uh, and that is my recommendation uh, with certain stipulations. And those stipulations would be the conditional use permit would go with the operator being Crossroads Ministry. If a new operator takes over, a new conditional use permit must be requested and approved. And to ensure the security of patrons in the surrounding neighborhood, uh, supervision needs to be on site uh, anytime the clients are there. So basically 24 hour supervision. Uh, Mr. Wagner is in the audience tonight to answer any questions that you might have that I might not be able to. Uh, any questions for me on that? One complaint. Uh, commercial, uh, it was a commercial business in the vicinity and uh, I don't usually give my opinion, but, but they are being supervised in this location and we know we have individuals out in the general public that are not being supervised, so. Right, if they're gonna be in the city, they have to be somewhere and this is not a, you know, this immediate area is not a residential area. So that is a plus in my, in my respect. So. What type of supervision is it? A trained supervisor or somebody just hired? I believe they do have to go through a program. Mr. Wagner spoke to that, uh, and he is uh, trained. Uh, and I would prefer him to answer that because he can give you a more complete That's answer fine. than I can. Sure. Mr. Wagner? Hello, Mr. Wagner. How are you? Name and address, please, Mr. Wagner. I'm sorry, what? Name and address. My, my name is Jimmy Wagner. I live at 1180 County Road 467 in Popper Bluff. <clears throat> I was just asking what kind of supervision, is there any kind of licensed supervision with this or? No, um, my, my wife and I are, are licensed in our in Missouri Recovery Support Specialists and we both, we both have had almost 2,000 hours of volunteer hours okay. in uh, lo local rehabs and in our own ministry. Um, the, the guy that will be living at the house is um, a graduate of John 316 Ministries, and so he's familiar with a lot of their program, and we're, ad we're adapting a lot of their uh, policies and procedures, so he's not, he's not certified or licensed in any way. And, and really, um, as far as um, the program goes, I will be facilitating any of the teaching and, and classes and things like that really all he, his job is to just be there at night and make sure that everyone goes to bed. Okay. So. Does it be like any kind of security camera inside of here? Uh, no, we, I, no, no, sir. Okay. But the individuals will be staying there, correct? Yes, sir. Well, like 24 hours a day or they come and go? Well, we, um, they get up for Bible study every morning and so, and then, and then go out into the community and do volunteer work and they'll be coming back to the house um, after after their group that night um, every weeknight they're going to be required to go to a faith-based recovery group and there's a different one every night of the week and so really they'll only be at the house to sleep yeah. what about visitors they're not allowed to have any visitors at the house they're, they're allowed to have visitors um, on the sunday service at the crossroads service and that, that's it no phone calls, no internet. Okay. Any other comments or questions from the council or the audience? Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'd make a motion we move this to the voting session on February the 16th. Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded to move Item A to the voting session for February 16. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> Moving to the action required items. Item AA, Bill Number 7883. The City Council will take action on an ordinance awarding the bid for the Fair Street Bridge project. Move for first reading of Bill Number 7883. Second. 
Motion has been made and seconded for the first reading of Bill Number 7883. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried, Mr. Smith. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute the contract awarding the bid for the Fair Street Bridge project. Move for second reading. Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded for second reading of Bill Number 7883. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute the contract awarding the bid for the Fair Street Bridge project. Move for adoption. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of bill number 7883. Roll call, please, Ms. Kirby. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Tin, excuse me, Councilman Tinsley. Yes. Councilwoman Fox. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Yes. And Mayor Abshire. Yes. And six yes votes. Thank you. Bill number 7883 has been adopted. Item BB, bill number 7884. The City Council will take action on an ordinance transferring monies from the City of Poplar Bluff account payable to municipal utilities. Can I ask some questions on this? Is it, can we have a discussion? Yes, you usually do it after, after the, at the reading of it before the vote. Yes, when we get ready. I, I was absent last meeting, I just, um, and I'll be honest with you, I've requested some documents. We've had some email issues this week. Uh, this was set to be workshopped. Uh, it's only been workshopped one week. I would like to see us uh, table it and uh, give us some time to research. To, I'd like to see some documentation. That, and as I say, I believe Pam will testify. I've sent emails and they have been unresponded and in visiting today, we've had problems with the email server, and she has not received those emails. I believe it could, a motion can be made to table it before we decide to vote on it at this point, procedurally. I'm sorry. You have to have a motion a second to table it then. I'd make a motion we table it. I'll second. Motion has been made and seconded to table item BB for bill number 7884. Uh, let's have roll call on that, Ms. Kirby, please. Councilman Crocker? Yes. And yes, you're voting to table it. Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. Mm -hmm. Councilman Tinsley? Yes. Councilwoman Fox? Yes. Councilman DeGarris? No. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. And Mayor Abshire? No. It's 4-2. Okay, item BB for bill number 7884. Uh, has been tabled. That be brought up to the next February 16th for the and discussion I guess, or for voting on? Um, I would say voting. I Move would it. say probably having a workshop and voting that night. And, okay. <laughs> That's all right with you all. Yeah, I'm fine with the workshop and voting the same night. Are you all okay with that? Yes. Okay. I want to make it clear. That way, in workshop, we can yeah. discuss it again. And yeah, I just want to make sure okay. it's clear. So we sure. Wouldn't. Item CC, resolution number 1841. The City Council will take action on a resolution appointing the General Manager of Municipal Utilities as a designated official for Southwest Power Administration's Addendum Agreement under Contract 540. Move for first reading. Second. The motion has been made and seconded for the reading of resolution number 1841. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. A resolution of the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, appointing the General Manager of the Municipal Utilities Department to act as a designated official for the Southwest Power Administration's addendum agreement under contract 540. Move for adoption. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of resolution number 1841. Roll call, please. Councilman Tinsley? Yes. Councilwoman Fox? Yes. Councilman McGarris? Yes. Councilman Crocker? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. And Mayor Ramsey? Yes. Six yes votes. Thank you. Resolution number 1841 has been adopted. Item DD, the City Council of the City of Poplar Bluff will meet in a closed meeting in which they will discuss such matters which are exempted under the open meetings law 
section 610.021.1.2.3.9.11.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.